tagging is more just, you know, I'm just going to go out and just walk around. You know, if there's something to do a tag on, just do it. If you have your name up everywhere, everybody's going to be like, this guy's serious, you know? The ages for fire setters can be anywhere as young as three all the way up to 18. And they do love to experiment and they really do believe that this is something that's not going to be hurtful. Fire setting, graffiti and vandalism. Public mischief is well known in urban settings and that includes pastoral GDRD members like Langley. Graffiti initially is done for attention which they try to outdo one another and when they stopped getting attention with the basic graffiti then they moved on to the acid etching and defacing anything they could get their hands on. It's just kind of like a I was here. It's like personal propaganda. Like companies they pay millions of dollars to put their names everywhere so you know like you just it's it's in your head subconsciously that you know that this company is there. You can't really justify the tags to people that don't that aren't into it, you know. Fire setting has even more damaging effects on a community. With older kids, we know that they begin to develop a natural curiosity towards fire. They, um, they're not as supervised as they are when they're younger, so they have more access to um, matches and lighters. Crime statistics and news items like these often are the main way a community gets to know its youth. Adults will put out the fire and paint over the art. It corrects the situation, but does it engage you in the solution? When you're a teenager, a lot, there's a lot of misunderstanding from the adults and from business owners and from other people who just don't understand what it's like to have all this drive and ambition and things you want to do and there's no outlet. You have to create your own. When I was little, I was always drawing. I loved all the art and I loved how there was, wasn't a whole lot of structure to it, you know? It's just kind of do whatever you felt like and just make it pop out. As far as taking away where you're allowed to paint, I think that definitely causes the vandalism aspect. The youth um, come to see me in the office and they bring renderings, so concepts of what it is they want to do. The paint is supplied for them and I point them out to a dumpster and to date we have over 15 dumpsters painted in our downtown and a supply of about six artists. A friend of mine was doing murals for the city and stuff like that, so I guess he put my name in too and couldn't hurt to let me, let me do a dumpster to see what I was doing, I guess. The business owners are welcoming the program now. Uh, they've started to embrace it. Initially, they weren't certain. They were still quite upset by the fact that their dumpsters were being painted by the kids who had initially defaced them in the first place. But now that they've seen um, the difference that it's made and the fact that the artists seem to respect each other's work and not tag each other's work, they're um, waiting in line to have their dumpster painted. Langley City is getting prettier, but it's not picture perfect, and the same is true for efforts by the fire department. For youth who do set fires, they are referred for one-on-one -on -one lessons by a principal, RCMP, or parent. We put them through our juvenile fire setter intervention program until we see a change in their behavior. We meet with the family, we meet with the children individually, and we're going to talk about things like the meaning of the word restitution, perhaps paying for, for our services. Uh, we're going to speak to them about issues that are going to affect them as they get older and about criminal records. Ready and stop! Stop! In Langley Township, children start learning about fire well before they are curious teens. They take an active role. When we work with our younger kids, not only do we teach them about prevention, but we teach them about the whole issue of fire, being responsible about fire, what their role is around fire, and um, how to make sure they can keep themselves safe. How many? Two. Two puppy dogs didn't get out. Every year, children are going to see us in some way. Let's go get them. You found a puppy dog? Oh, great! We're going to make sure that the classes that we give them are going to be applicable to the age that they're at. I'm Firefighter Mike. I'm a public educator here with the Township of Langley. We help them understand the basic 
signs of fire and the consequences that go along with it. Um, what I learned was uh, you would take a sheet or something and you would wave it to get people's attention. Very good. And that usually um, comes into the lesson plans about grade four. Seeing what's happening in Langley is, is I mean, it's exciting. Artists are contacting me now who otherwise wouldn't have even come out of the woodwork. They're coming forward now too and wanting to do something more productive. Do we think we're doing a good job? Yeah, we think we're doing a good job because of the fact that we haven't lost anyone in a long time. Youth want an ownership. They want to feel like they're contributing to something that's bigger and that is theirs.